Joining us now is Chef Alex Guarnaschelli, who's going to show us how to make a perfect for fall roasted squash penne pasta. You might recognize Alex from Iron Chef and many other Food Network shows. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Before us is really just amazing fall food. It's true. Um, I'm actually really happy. I'm partnering with GLAD on the Save It Sunday Pledge, which is where you take um, a few hours on Sunday, for example, to get organized for your week. And that means shopping, coming home and thinking, how am I going to use everything I bought, mm -hmm. um, avoid wasting food, which I think is something we all struggle with. Definitely. You go to the supermarket, you buy all this stuff, and then you, you bring it home and you say, oh my God, if I don't use this, what am I going to do? Yeah. This is an example of a great fall recipe that really allows you to bring to life what you bought. Yeah, um, so you can plan in advance and save yourself time during the week when we're always looking to basically save time. And the recipe starts with this beautiful squash. Yeah, so for example, you buy something like squash, it looks so great at the store. What do you do? Well, right when you get home, split it, seed it, roast it, and then you could either put it in the fridge, scoop it out, nibble at, nibble at it by using it for, say, a grilled piece of steak, grilled piece of chicken mm -hmm. during the week, or you can scoop it out and mix it, in this case for this recipe, with a little bit of skim milk, a little cream, mm -hmm. and just puree it, make a wonderful, smooth, very squashy, is that an adjective? Uh, it is now. A very squashy sauce that you then can toss um, with um, just some cooked penne pasta mm -hmm. and some fresh oregano. Um, another thing I love to buy at the store, I have a guilty pleasure, which is fresh herbs. Okay. If you buy something like oregano, just break a little bit of fresh oregano into this part of the dish. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then the other part, which is a caponata, traditionally made with eggplant, mm -hmm. but in this case, we're using squash in a different way. Squash is the new squash for fall. <laughs> it's great to incorporate it into other things. For the caponata, we yes. have these ingredients before us. So walk us through what goes into that. Okay. Um, so you're just going to stove top, mm -hmm. heat a little bit of oil, add some garlic, onions, and celery as kind of the foundation. Okay. You're going to cook the squash pieces, which you just cut up until tender. Toss those um, with a little bit of salt, pepper, um, splash of red wine vinegar for brightness. Okay. Um, and then for that little Sicilian touch, some golden raisins and some capers tossed in, which adds a little bit of tang, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of saltiness. And then you just mix it all together. Once the ingredients are tender, and that's all you're really looking to do. Okay. Mix it all together, and I'm going to have you just spoon that right over the pasta. Okay, can do happily. And this is a really great thing because you've bought all these ingredients, you thought about how you wanted to cook them right when you got home, got it all organized, cooked it all. Yeah. And this is the kind of dish that tastes even better when you let it sit in the fridge a day or two. And love I love that. feeling like I have kind of something up my sleeve for a <laughs> weeknight. Yeah. You know, say, you know what, guys, I. I know what we're having for dinner. I got this. Now yeah. this is great because you can use it as a side dish or yep. you can use it in the pasta as your entree. So it's nice to have that kind of versatility. I am also a great lover of meat and fish, mm -hmm. but I also like a break. Yeah. So this is a great dish. It has that meaty fall quality, that seasonality, um, but it also is just pasta with some fresh vegetables, awesome. which is wonderful and something that I think we don't realize how easy it is. If you just do a little mapping and planning, to have this ready. You can be ready for a few days in the week. Good well, stuff. Well, I'm going to try this so I can sign I off on too. the deliciousness. I'm going to I'm going to try it and, and look at you and make sure it's okay. Oh, that's good. That's real good. <laughs> I'm going to make this at home. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Looking forward to making this. <laughs>